of the Rubik's Cube is the center piece, this, the corner piece, this, and the edge piece, this. And there are also some notations to know how you move. So the first one is R, R prime. So R means clockwise and R prime means anti-clockwise. So if you hear any letter without prime, it's clockwise. But if you hear a letter with Prime, it's anti-clockwise. So, so R stands for right. Now let's go to the left side. L, L, clockwise. L prime, anti-clockwise. Now let's go to U, upper. So, U, clockwise. U prime, anti-clockwise. Now let's go to F, forward. So, let's do F clockwise and F prime anti-clockwise and there are also some layers so this is called the bottom layer this whole layer is called the bottom layer this is called the middle layer and this is called the top layer so let's do the first step which is making a white cross but to make it simpler, let's start off by making a daisy. And the daisy, in the middle, has a yellow center. So, we take the yellow center piece on the Rubik's Cube and put it in on top. And the daisy has white petals. So, we, you, we put all the white edge pieces surrounding the yellow center. So, we found, find all the white edge pieces. One there. Push it up. One there. Push it up. Now, we found another one here. So, if it's on the bottom, we move it, we move it up, which would be R, R, and then you do U, and then you push it up. And now it adds a space. Now we need one more pedal. Here. So, you push it up, push it up, and then push this one back. So now, we've made the days in mother corner. So now we make the white cross. So we match it. So we look at this part now, the other centers and the edge pieces. Now we match them together. So this is a red center. So you put the red, the red, and now we flip it. Now we made this. Now the blue has been matched. So you put it. The, the orange has been matched. We put it down. The green has been matched. We put it down. That won't happen in all cases. Now we've made the white cross. The second step. So we've done a white cross so far, and we've matched this part, these pieces, the center and the edge. Now the second step is matching these corners and these these corners as well. So let's match the corner now. Now we found green and orange, and the other colors next to the white are green and orange. So we put it at green and orange, and then we do the formula. So, because it's on the front, this piece is on the front, we do the front formula, which would be... And don't worry if you do this and this white cross is going to get ruined. It's not going to... It's we're, we're going to... It's going to be... It's going to come back. So, the front formula, F prime, U prime, F. Now we've matched this, and this and this have been matched. Now, let's go to this white piece. And the colors are red and green. So, we move it to red and green. We brought it to red and green. Now it's on the front again, so we do the front formula. F prime, U prime, F. And now these two are on the top. So we do the up formula, which would be R, U, U, R prime, and then you bring it here, you put this is the right side, so you add up the right side formula as well with the that formula. Now with the right formula, which would be 
are U R prime. We match this and we match this. And the last is blue and orange. I mean blue and orange. Now it's here. It's on the front side again. So we do the front. F prime. U prime. F. And now we've matched the whole white side and we've matched the whole bottom layer. Third step. And the third step is solving the second layer. But so far, we've done the white base and we've completed the bottom layer entirely. And as I said, we're in the second layer. And in the second layer, we take it like this. So the orange and the green. We take this piece and put this front piece matching this. And we take the green piece should be on the right or the left. So the green face should be on the right or the left. And we do not take this. We only take non-yellow pieces. Like if it has one yellow, we can't use it. So the, there are two cases. Case one is where it's on the right. But in this situation, the, the top piece, which is green, is on the left. So they have formulas in each other, and those formulas are on the screen right now. So it's on the left. So we do case two, which would be U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, and now we saw the left side, and we got that piece in here. Um, even though it was on the screen, I repeated it. So yeah. So if you got the right side, just look at it on the screen. The right side formula is on the top. So now we go to the next one. Red and blue, and the blue is on the left side again. So do the formula. And now we've got it. So next we go. And this time it's on the right. And now we do the fun. And now that part is moved there. Now the last is this. But this is reverse. So what we do in this situation is we just do one of the formulas. Right side or left side. Just do one of them and it will come up. So I'll do the right side formula. And now it's come. Now the blue is on the right side. So I do the right side. And now we've completed the entire second layer. So, so we've completed the white. We've done the bottom layer. We've done the middle layer. Now we're up to the top. So. How we do this is first we consider the L shape. But you maybe start off with like a dot or you maybe start off with a line. But most of you start off with the L. Don't consider that corner, just forget about that. It should be like a, if you see that, it should be like a L. Now, what you do is you follow the first form formula on the screen. And it usually converts into a line. Or if you start it on a line, it might convert to another thing. You repeat it if you have a line. And you get this shape, you might get a fish, you might, or you might get a plus. Or you might get a shape like that. You just add one, replace, take that one off and put it there. Like you get that type of shape. So now you do a different formula, the second formula on the screen. Now we change, like the, form, the thing I was telling you. Now we change. Now we repeat it again. Now we're back to here. But I forgot to tell you. Always these two, like if you get one corner, or these two, two, you put it on this side. You put it always on the left side. So now we do it again.
Now we have a plus. And remember, these two on the side. Now we do. Now we have a fish. A fish. Yeah, a fish. And now we do the formula again. And now we've solved the whole yellow layer. Now that we've completed step four, now we're on to step five. And before, we've completed the white, the bottom layer, the middle layer, and the yellow. And now, we've won. We've, we're not, now, we're going to match these corners. Like that. So, now we have another formula, and it's on the screen. So, if it's like this, you, pro you should probably put it like that, so then you have higher chances. So, you follow the formula. Back. And now we have perfect. We've matched this, we've matched this, we've matched this, and we've matched these corners. We finished most of the cube, but we have a last step to go, and that is step six. So now we hold it like this. We put the white and we put our match color if you have one. If you don't have a match color, just Follow the formula we do now. And for the for the last step, if you still didn't get this, you have to repeat the same formula again to get it. To get this thing. Or another, another three times. Yeah. So if you didn't get this back, like this back full solve, you just follow the formula on the screen. And I'm gonna do it now too. And now you should definitely be having this. So now, we have to put this here, this there, and that there. And this last step will take, and if you've fallen back, just follow along. 